Trump's President Hassan Rouhani has said his country is growing impatient with the U.S. At a meeting of foreign ministry officials in Tehran, he said President Trump will fail to turn Iranians against their own government. Any pressure will only bring people closer. But as the economy continues to stagnate, public patience may be running out. Zain Basravi has more from Tehran. Iran's business community is bracing for bad news. On August 6th, more U.S. sanctions kick in, worsening economic uncertainty since President Donald Trump pulled the U.S. out of the 2015 nuclear deal. The American administration is determined to block Iran from the global marketplace that welcomed it back after signing the international agreement. In real, uh, a little worry, but it's not very important for us. Before that, in some years ago, we have the same problem. Uh, as you know, Iran have a very long history. We so, so many things same as this. Sometimes the situation is good, sometimes they have bad time. But uh, we don't have a lot of worry about that. We can handle it and find a way. While European companies have started leaving, one Chinese entrepreneur said for her startup, it's important to maintain a presence in Iran, and she's holding her ground. Well, for us, like Chinese, first of all, Chinese company like us, the biggest market is the Middle East. So we still want to come. We have some a lot in common as we've been from China. And we were, were suffering from this 30 years ago when we were starting our new policies to be open to the world. So we had that kind of experience. Donald Trump has pledged to subject Iran to the harshest economic sanctions in modern history. The stated goal, to pressure the government to give in to American demands. Some here say it's to draw Iran into a fight. Iranians say they don't want to make war, they want to make business, something that is becoming increasingly difficult as they continue to be caught between Trump's foreign policy ambitions and their own government's unwavering defiance of the United States. In a speech to his foreign ministry on Sunday, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said Trump was trying to wear Iran down and warned him against trying to stop Iran from selling its oil. Peace with Iran, he said, would be the mother of all peace, while war would be the mother of all wars. Don't play with the lion's tail. You will regret it forever. You cannot carry out these measures. It is out of your capability. You cannot force Iranians to act against their own country. You have clearly shown you are against the Iranian people. He also said that when it comes to the nuclear deal, most countries support Iran, and the U.S. is increasingly isolated in the international arena. But Iran's leaders know a moral victory doesn't pay the bills. And even if Iran is on the right side of history on the nuclear issue, as long as America exerts economic influence, Iranians say they will be prevented from elevating themselves on the world stage.